when I first got introduced to jigs, all I would do is either bounce off the bottom or drag it. I never used a swim jig to swim it until one day I had a, a football jig and uh, I forget, I think I had like a net bait, uh, some type of net bait uh, crawl dad or something like that and it's and it's claws had a pretty tasty swimming fluttering style they, flut they fluttered like this and then sideways they fluttered like that so it was it's I would say that's probably one of the better baits to throw like on a spinner bait or a chatter bait baits like that where you're swimming it and uh, we're at a, a pond once I was at school and it was that time of year in, in, in the late spring where the moss and the lily pads and the cheese was just starting to grow and it was super thick and that's all it was covered in and you couldn't really throw anything else or there's certain like open spots where you can throw cast into it but then other than that you get out of that you're stuck in weeds and cheese and so I decided to start I started to throw that uh, football jig and I started swimming it and then it was kind of it was literally kind of accident because I wasn't really catching anything so I was like hey I'm just going to cast out there and do nothing just let it just fling out there just let it fly and then I just start reeling it and then once I get to the bank I saw a fish just come out of nowhere and just swipe at it and I was like huh what is going on I just this fish just came out of nowhere like at this point I didn't know you could swim a jig I didn't know it was possible because when I'm growing up I fish all I all I was raised on was throwing out night crawlers or oh, I think they're called red worms and stuff like that and crickets. You just throw that on the hook, throw on the bobber and let the, let the fish do the work itself. You didn't have to use certain techniques. That's all you do. So I, do, I was new to uh, fishing like that. I didn't know you could throw a jig and swim it like that. So I just found out, I was like, man. So I threw out the gun. I just started swimming it, swimming it, swimming it. I was parallel on the bank. And then out of nowhere, a fish just swipes at it. I set the hook, caught a fish. And then we switched ponds. And I kept I kept I kept the same football jig on now. This football jig is it, it's pretty big. Like this was probably a 3 8 3 8 ounce or something like that. It was a fat jig. It was pretty heavy too, so you couldn't really cast it out that far because it was a pretty heavy jig. And uh then you own the football jig, you gotta set the hook hard on those. So swimming that and set the hook on top of that, you gotta set the hook super hard. So I started doing that, going to the second pond. Dude, I annihilated the fish. It's our money spot, and that spot is known for jigging. Uh, so what I would do, and my buddy roommate, we would just throw football jigs, just bounces slow off the bottom, or, or I would scoot across the bottom, and the fish just, annihilated it. I would just throw it across the bank. Usually like the first drop, they would hit it or a couple cranks, boom, they just popped and they just tore it up. And then after a certain while, I went to YouTube. Um, that's when I started subscribing to like a bunch of pros and watching a bunch of tutorials and tips and tricks and pointers. And, um, and then it led me to Tackle Warehouse and it led me to find uh, uh, this jig right here, and this is a DNL tackle swim jig. I do have a couple. Uh, what are they called? A uh, Z-Man swim jigs that I have yet to thrown. This is the first uh, swim jig I put on, and I am loving it so far. I've caught three fish today so far. I've lost probably like four fish today. They could have been the same ones, just annihilating it. And so far, I'm loving it. Now, I've, I've come to learn that this bait is usually uh, for grassy areas, running through grass areas, um, stuff of that nature, and it works 
pretty good, but I'm using it right here. There's not any grass at all. It's pretty much just open water. Uh, there's probably some weeds and moss. Not moss, what am I saying moss? Some weeds and muck that's at the bottom that I'm barely dragging it through, but it's working and I'm loving it. It's, it's just the jig. I love the jig because when a fish bite, bites the jig, they just annihilate it. They go all out and it feels amazing. The bite feels so good when throwing a jig and that's why I come to love it so much. And I just can't say no to put it, say no to not throwing it. I can't set it down. I always have it tied on, always. But uh, man, we gotta get back to fishing, man. We gotta get another fish. 